Hello everybody and welcome to Tell Me About Gaming. Sit back, relax, and open up your ears because today we're going to be talking about a really cool game that's titled Toxic. So Toxic has been in early access for quite a while now, but it was recently fully released and there's actually a free edition of the game. Now at the moment I only have the free edition so that I could tell you guys what the differences are between the free one and the fully paid one. And here's the list. So with the free edition, you can play on official servers, there's skill classing and matchmaking, there's bots and single player content, the match XP saving is in place as well as leaderboards, you have access to all weapons, and you have access to all mutators. Now the things you're limited to with the free edition is there is a limited number of maps, vehicles, campaign content, and achievements. The things that you absolutely cannot use on the free edition is you cannot vote for the next map after your match is done. You cannot use the server browser, you have to use the quick join option. There's no character customization. You cannot join or host custom servers. You can't access custom content or Steam Workshop content. And you cannot use the level editor. So that is the exact list of differences between the free edition and the paid edition of the game. Other than that though guys, like I said, there has not been much restrictions I've seen with the free edition. The competitive side of things seems to be the exact same, there's no pay to win here. So big thumbs up to the developers on that. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the game itself. And first up, we're going to talk about graphics. So there's no denying that the graphics in this game are very, very nice. They look very crisp, they're very nice visuals. And honestly, the game runs extremely well, which is something I wasn't expecting. I have a mid-range PC, I definitely don't have a beast of a computer, and it can run it just fine at pretty much 60 FPS unless the flamethrower comes out. That kind of screws on the FPS a little bit, but otherwise it runs fantastic. The game looks great, as I've said, the graphics are really cool and they're really really good for a indie developer, so big thumbs up once again to the developers on the graphical side of things. Now let's talk about sound for a little bit. The sound design in this game is kind of a hit or miss for me. Some of it sounds alright, but most of it is not that amazing. A lot of the guns don't feel as meaty as I think they should for a game like this. They don't have as much of a kick as I would like them to have. Especially some of the bigger guns, like the shotgun comes to mind, I believe it's called the bull shot in this game. It just doesn't sound that great in my opinion. Now sound is a very preference type of thing. Some of you probably will like the sound design, but for me personally, I'm not a huge fan. I like games like Doom, where the weapons just sound very meaty and right in your face and a lot of bass to them. And this game certainly doesn't have that from what I've seen so far. Now as far as the UI goes for this game, it is decent. The main menu is alright, and the in-game menu Especially the after game report is kind of messy, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's definitely not the nicest UI I've seen. But it gets the job done, I haven't had issues with it so far, I could find everything I was looking for. So as long as you don't mind looking at something a little disorganized, you should be fine with the UI. As far as map design goes, the maps so far seem to be really fun. I haven't had huge issues with them, there's not been any maps that I've really disliked so far. They flow quite well and they are nice to look at as I said and there's real no complaints for the map design part in my end. Now as far as gameplay goes this game's gonna play very similar to the Unreal Tournament games. It feels extremely similar I'm sure the developers got a lot of inspiration from it considering the fact that their motto for Toxic is Frag like it's 1999 so you can definitely feel that Unreal Tournament vibe some people have compared it to Quake, but I, I don't, personally, I don't find it feels very much like Quake. It feels a lot more Unreal Tournament to, to me, and I don't mind that because I grew up as an Unreal Tournament person more than Quake, so I actually quite like that that's where their inspiration seems to have come from. But like I said, maybe that's just me because there are people who think it feels like Quake, but in my personal opinion, it certainly doesn't. Finally, the most important part of this video is just how fun is the game. And I can happily tell you guys, it's very fun. It has some good feeling movement, the guns feel good, the graphics are very very nice, and I've enjoyed my time playing the game. Like I said, you can go in on the free edition and there's really not a whole lot of restrictions there, so you can definitely have fun 
with just the free part of the game. But I think I will end up buying this game to support the developers because I like what they're doing and I think they deserve it. They've made a pretty good game and for an indie developer I think they did a great job with this. So if you haven't seen this game yet make sure to go check it out, go to their Steam page and give it a try. Like I said, there is a free edition so you're really not losing anything by trying the game out and it helps the game build a player base which is even better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to share it with your friends so they can find out about this game too and we can get it running at a nice pace. And if you have any questions or any opinions of your own on the game, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. I love to hear them and I try to reply to everything that I get. I will see your beautiful minds in the next video.